came in and uh, played really well. I thought their second half was was the difference in the game. You know, early on we made some shots early on, and uh, and you know that team's going to make a run back at you. And uh, and of course it was tied at halftime, and uh, I thought we came out in the second half and. Uh, it was going back and forth, and then they had a little surge right there as we took a lead, I think with 13 minutes, and just seemed like we had some big lulls in the game. Uh, but the, the game came down, I, I think, uh, defensively, we didn't do a good job stopping, we didn't score. And uh, sometimes that, that it, it started to affect your defense. But I thought our defense uh, was, was really, uh, uh, was not up to standards of, of stopping them from doing what they want to do. And then they attacked the glass. I thought the rebounding was a big part of this game here. Uh, and their bench outplayed our bench. So there you have, the, uh, I think, two of the biggest reasons why you know Kentucky ended up winning this game. Because they, they came in, they defended in the second half, uh, they rebound the basketball especially on the offensive board. It seemed like they were so quick to the ball going down the stretch. Uh, uh, and then, of course, we didn't, we didn't make shots. And you got to make shots against a team like that. All right, Mike, team. Mike, you guys always got off to a great start, jumping on them 11-0. What, what do you think happened after that? And how impressive was it that Kentucky you know, was able to respond the way they did? Well, that's what good teams do. They're a very good basketball team. I mean, you look at the players they have. And, uh, and obviously, we, our guys came out. They were fired up, emotions. But emotion can only take you so long, so far. That's why you got to play basketball. And, uh, and even as, you know, I thought the first half was a, a well-played game on both, both teams. Uh, but I think in the second half, uh, you could see that uh, I think they imposed their will on the, on the glass. I thought Vanderbilt came in and did a really good job for them. P.J. Washington, uh, uh, the green kid, you know, uh, you know, our guards have done a pretty good job of rebounding the basketball, but tonight uh, we only get like four rebounds from those star starting guards, and that that can't happen. You know, they got to get Daniel and, and Trey or whomever's in the game. Dustin Thomas gets us ten rebounds. We got to have more more guys uh, helping them on the glass. Uh, that's defeating when you when you defend, and of course they get uh, offensive rebounds. Aside from the rebounding advantage, it seemed like in that 31 to 11 run to finish the game, they did a great job of getting defensive rebounds, turning it in transition. If they got fouled, they made free throws or they finished. How big a part was that in the game? I, I think you said it. Uh, you know, we had laws, and they, they to me, they got out. We, we took some shots, and of course, they got down the floor and and uh, got some transition buckets. Uh, got to the free throw line. I think they shoot what. 17 out of 20, and uh, I'm sure if you ask Cal, it's probably one of their better performances. But I thought they played well. Mike, Cal said you guys are still an NCAA tournament team. He thinks probably six or seven. How do you feel about where you guys are right now? And obviously, stuff. Well, this game's over with, and we will move on to the next game. You know, I'm not concerned about that right now. I know we're a very, very good basketball team, one of the better teams in the country, and uh, we just had a had a game where we didn't play. Uh, as good as we've been playing. Uh, so, but our focus is going to be on that next practice and the next game. And uh, we do what we're supposed to do, Bob. We'll be what we're supposed to be. And I just think uh, with this team, with the schedule that we've had, uh, we play some good people. And uh, we beat some good people. And we've got beaten by some good people. So, uh, but there's three games left to this season. And, uh, and then once we get to the, the postseason, which is the SEC tournament, that's the only uh, tournament that, that anybody's automatically going to the to the NCAA. Mike, they got six McDonald's All-Americans. Do you think it's maybe a case of them figuring it out and just their talent kind of taking over tonight? They're playing well. I mean, they're not freshmen anymore. I mean, everybody thinks they're fresh. They're not freshmen anymore. You know, they've been through the, you know, they, they, they schedule uh, the play against quality teams. And uh, it's a matter of them uh, uh, understanding how to go out and, and perform. And I thought they performed well tonight. They performed well as a team. I thought the Alexander kid, he did a good job of controlling the game. He getting the ball to the right people. Uh, again, our defense, you know, didn't really rattle him as much as uh, we thought it could could have. Hey. Calipari said that offensive rebounding, that your first several threes came really came off that and kickouts. Was that a big factor? You think in the second half, just not getting the boards either way? I thought our energy was good in, in the first half, and even in this game, I thought it was. You know, but we only make one three the second half, and uh, I thought we just we kind of settled for some shots in the second half. In the first half, I thought our energy was good, our ball movement was good. Uh, when the shot went up, we were had people going rebounding and, and, and kicking it out. Uh, 
But I thought we had some good ball movement in that half. Uh, second half, uh, we didn't have as much. And, and so the results sometimes of good shooting is good ball movement. And we didn't have that. And uh, we just didn't make shots. And now they had something to do with that. Their, their defense uh, was pretty good. They did a pretty good job of protecting the whole week. We attacked the basket a few times. And, uh, and whether we make it or miss it or, you know, uh, they did a good job. That kind of goes into my question, Mike, about what challenges Kentucky, you know, what you face against their length when they're able to have Vanderbilt and Washington and Knox and Gilgis Alexander all out there together. I think Vanderbilt really adds, a, adds another plus to their basketball team. You know, they just got him back, and I think he just gives him a versatile forward. And uh, and, and and I think they're athletic and they're, they're long, uh, uh, and they're figuring it out. I think that's that's uh, that's the thing about their basketball team. They're a really good basketball team. Mike, I, I guess the, the road teams in the league went 4-0 and tonight. Ole Miss even won in Missouri. Um, just what, what do you think that says about the league? It's, it's the, again, it's one of those every game you got to be, be prepared to play. Uh, you can't let down even as the season is unwinding. You know, games continue to be, get bigger and to magnify and people are playing for uh, a lot of state, a lot of pride. And so you got to come with it. And some teams are wearing now. Uh, uh, but again, I just think tonight we just lost to a team that played better today. I mean, it's, it's uh, this game here, Kentucky played much better than we did today. Yeah. Coach, Dustin Thomas had six offensive rebounds. What did you think of his performance overall tonight? Uh, he was the bright spot. I thought Dustin was really the bright spot. He came and you could just see uh, he played with an edge. Uh, he was trying to get every loose ball. He was hustling. Uh, he even got in foul trouble. I let him play with four fouls. He still didn't foul out. But he, I thought he played the game the right way. And that's the guy that's going to really continue to help us uh, as we continue to, uh, to finish the season. Anything else? All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thanks.